If you have some creative kiddos and are looking for an artistic outlet this summer, you are in luck. CU Create is a traveling art studio focused on helping children explore their artistic side. And with us today is owner Megan Farkas. Welcome, Megan. Thanks for having me. Tell me a little bit about these cool pieces that you've brought with you here. So a lot of these examples up here are student examples that we have done in camp this summer. So um, we had a dino, a dazzling dino camp. And that's where this was created by about a seven or eight year old. And we had adopt a squishmallow camp. And that's where this fun frog was created. Oh, that's awesome. Um, this week we have cardboard creations. So we're all making different animal creations. That, I'm assuming that's the little bear here. Yep, that's Very the little cool. bear that was created today. And um, next week we have our little camp on the prairie where we, um, we do basket weaving and we usually make something with fiber arts. We dip candles. And so that's what some of these examples are right here. Awesome. So, and yeah. so CU Create, you guys are a traveling art studio. Tell me a little bit about your business and kind of what you guys are focused on. So the reason it's called a traveling art studio is because I do not have a brick and mortar. Um, for the last three years, I've been renting space at Judah Christian School. And then I just developed a relationship with the Crow at 110. And um, so I have been doing workshops and parties and classes. Um, there as well. So I'm kind of all over the place. I've kind of tried to hit up a few farmers markets and um, I've done an event with That's What Teens Say or That's What Teens Said. So um, I'm just trying to get my name out there and travel all around our community spreading the word and spreading creativity with kids. Well, good for you guys. And I've seen you, uh, the pictures of, of what you guys are doing over at the space. That is really a neat um, uh, place, like studio, I guess you would call it, right? And, and so you kind of, is that how you guys operate? You do a lot of camps over the summer. Um, what so are you guys doing with the kids? Do you create for the summer does summer camp. That's basically my main priority. And these are all art camps. They are all art focused camps. We also do a lot of creative play and we do a lot of exploration. And in years past, we've done a lot of steam activities and even cooking and all kinds of things. We've had guests um, like dancers and a beekeeper last year and um, somebody taught us belly dancing a few years ago. So um, we've had a reptile expert come and share about their reptiles. Um, but so during the summer, we focus on camp, kids' creative opportunities. Um, I follow different themes each week. So right now we're in the midst of cardboard creations. Next week we have Little Camp on the Prairie. The week after that we have Mexico. We always try to do an international theme one week. And then the last week we have CU Creates Got Talent, Ooh. where each kid comes with a unique talent and they practice all week. They figure out their costume. They figure out if they need props. And at the end of the week, we celebrate with a big talent show and they take center stage and we all get to watch their performances. So how much of this is about teaching kids how to do art versus letting kids kind of just come in and express their artistic side? So I always go with a the theme because some kids thrive on guidance and boundaries. So if a kid comes into my area, my atmosphere, and they have no idea what to do, they're scared, um, because sometimes they don't have that confidence, they will do what I kind of lead them through and they are very successful. However, when kids come in, if they have ideas and they just want to explode with exploration, they are free to do that as well. So I've had kids creating with cardboard all summer long and gluing things together and making big you know, sculptures and all kinds of things, even though this is the week we're focusing on cardboard. So I say that our themes gently guide us in our projects, but really um, the imagination is the limit. The kids and are the artists. The kids, the are, kids the artists. are the artists, 100 I love that. Well, coming up later, Megan is gonna give us a demonstration of one of her art projects, and she's brought some extra help with her. In the meantime, we're gonna make sure to connect you with all of her details uh, for CU Create on our website after today's show.